Hey, welcome, it's Cassie. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a fake pumpkin parfait. It's kind of like a layered mousse dessert. So the first thing that we will need for this is a container. So I got these at Dollar Tree, but anything would work. This would actually look really cute in like a champagne glass too, if you can't find something like this. The first thing we'll do is mix up our pumpkin. So I have my lightweight spackle here, and I'm just gonna use a disposable bowl to mix this up. So I'm gonna put some of my spackle in to my bowl. And then for this, I'm gonna use three different colors of apple barrel paint, only because I don't have a color that looks like pumpkin. So I'll show you how you can mix up your own pumpkin color. I'm sure there probably is a color that looks like pumpkin, but I don't have it. So this is just as well I can show you how to do it. So we're gonna use Harvest Orange, Yellow, and Territorial Beige. So I'm gonna start with the Harvest Orange because that's gonna be the main color. And we're gonna to need to use quite a bit of paint in this mixture because the white spackle is gonna take quite a bit to get colored. And also, this will make the spackle more liquidy so that it looks more like a mousse or something rather than whipped cream. So then I'm gonna put a little territorial beige, not too much yet. Um, I can always add more later and then I'm just going to put a touch of yellow and then we'll see how this looks and go from there. So give it a really good mix. Okay, so this looks too orange, so I'm going to add some more of my territorial beige to darken it up a little. And then it looks a little dull, so I'm going to add a little more of the yellow to brighten it up a little. So now what I'm gonna do is grab a piping bag and I'm gonna put this mixture in. I don't need a piping tip in there, just the bag. And then I'm just gonna pull the bag up and push this down toward the bottom. I haven't cut the, the tip off yet, so it's not gonna go all the way down, but I'm just gathering it all up down there. And now I'm gonna take another piping bag and I'm gonna put some of my white spackle in it. So see how white my spackle is? If yours looks more on the gray side, you'll wanna put it in a bowl and add some white acrylic paint to it and just mix it up until it looks white. So for the white, I'm gonna use a 1M piping tip. So I'm gonna stick that in my bag first. And then I'm just gonna mark right here underneath where the openings are so I can cut it there. And then I'm just gonna snip that off and push my tip through. So all the openings should be not covered by the plastic. Just make sure it's pushed through further than that. Okay, so now I need my little container and I'm gonna uh, snip off the tip of this pumpkin colored bag. And then I'm just gonna pipe some of this in. So we're gonna have a layer of pumpkin, then we're gonna have a layer of whipped cream, then we're gonna put a layer that's kind of like granola, or like a crispy, and then another layer of the pumpkin. So keep that in mind when you're making your layers, like be sure you leave room for all of the layers. And try to get it even on all of the sides. So that if you look at the container from one side, it looks the same thickness as the other side. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for a minute. And then you can tap it down if you want to flatten it out a bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to take my 
white one and I'm going to pipe that in. Now, when you look at this from the side, you can see there are kind of some um, spaces and stuff because I have the piping tip on there. If you wanna flatten that out, you don't have to because you know if you put whipped cream in, it would look like that anyway. But if you want to smooth those out, just take a popsicle stick and you can kinda of push the spackle down into those spaces and fill it in. Okay, so for the crispy granola looking stuff, we're gonna use this natural corn cob bedding. I got this bag on Amazon. It's huge, it's gonna probably last me the rest of my life. And so I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that in there until I get a layer as thick as I want it to look. And then I'm gonna go back to my pumpkin mixture. So, I wanted to say, I made a dessert in one of these cups like this before. It was a banana custard. And I had someone ask me about putting all the layers, like if I let it dry in between. And it's probably a good idea if you wanna let these first two layers dry before you do the top layer. Then that way, you know everything's nice and dry won't get moldy or anything like that. So I just wanted to say that. Um, I don't live in like a humid area, so I don't have a lot of problems with that, but if you live somewhere there's a lot of humidity or things take a long time to dry for some reason, then let these first two layers dry and then do this last part. So I'm just gonna pipe this on until it's a little bit over the top. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm going around the edge first just to make sure that I get in all of those little crevices and all along the edge so that it looks nice and smooth. And then I'm just filling in the center part. And then if you want to smooth out the top, just use your popsicle stick and get it to look how you like. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little dollop of whipped cream on the top. And that's why I used the piping tip so that I could make a fancy whipped cream on the top. And then I wanna put a little sprinkle of fake cinnamon. You can use real cinnamon if you want to. Um, I try to do everything without using any food items if I can help it. So um, I just wanted to show you how to do that. So I'm gonna use some eyeshadow here for my cinnamon. So I have this one here that I um, broke up using this toothpick. So it's in little crumbly pieces. So I'm just gonna get that and sprinkle it on the top. And then I'm gonna let this dry at least overnight so that I can uh, touch this top part and it'll be nice and cured. The rest underneath will probably be still wet, but as long as I can have a surface that I can um, paint on. So here's one I have dried already. This surface is nice and hard, so I'm going to use some 
gloss mod podge so that I can make it uh, look shinier. I don't want it like super, super shiny. So one coat should be enough to get the amount of shine that I want. So I'm just going to go on the, the pumpkin part. I don't want to gloss the whipped cream. And then just let that dry for a few minutes and you should have the perfect glossiness and a cute little dessert. So there's what it looks like, all the different layers. You guys, be sure to check out in the description my Bake Bake VIP membership. We're making lots of cute stuff over there. I have the most awesome ladies in the group so far and we would love to have you in there thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting me and my channel i appreciate you so so much and have an awesome day and i'll see you in the next video